acceleration of the x including direction. So obviously we're going to be using the x directions here. So we'll first need to find the component of that which is in the x direction. That is going to be 30 cosine 37 degrees, which was what? 24. 24. 24 newtons. Then we apply F equals M at F in the X equals mass times the acceleration in the X. So we have two forces in the X. We have one going in that direction and one going in the opposite direction. So we'll use the bigger one, 40 newtons, minus the other one, 24 newtons, is equal to the mass, 20 kilograms, times the acceleration of the object. So that's 16. Newtons equals 20 kilograms times A, and A is what? 0.8 meters per second squared. Okay? Everybody okay with that? If you had done 24 minus 40, you would have gotten negative A, but it would have been the same number, which is fine. Accelerations can be negative. What you did when you said 24 minus 40 was that you assumed that it was going to accelerate in that direction and then found the opposite. I always take the direction of acceleration to be positive. That way all my numbers are positive. But if you do it backwards, you just get negative acceleration. That's why. So you would accept to do that? Yes. Um, Unless you specify which direction. Unless I specify I, I want to for acceleration. Now, negative forces you won't want to get, so you, you have to find the mistake or justify why you put negative force. Now we're asking for normal force, so we use the y direction, the sum of the forces in the y, and this is going to be zero. It's not accelerating up, it's not accelerating from the table, so the sum of the forces are this component here, the normal force, and mg. What's this one? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 18 newtons minus 200, newtons equals zero, normal force equals, oh, sorry, normal okay. force yeah, minus 182, newtons equals zero, add it to both sides, normal force is 100. 